today, celebrating mothers with destinations sure to make you mom's favorite. From delicious dining to lovely lodging and a step up from your old refrigerator art. Travel with Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. And welcome to Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Lemon. And I'm Dean Olawi. We're coming to you from Lawton this week, which is the hometown of our longtime photographer, Walt Cox. And this restaurant is one of his mom's favorites, and I can certainly see why. Absolutely. I love this place. It's called the Silver Spoon, and we're here to celebrate, oh, I guess you could say all moms on this Mother's Day Eve. You know, this is a show for moms, but it's really a show for everybody as well, because as we say at my house, if mom ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. <laughs> <laughs> and that works at my house, too. How, it's amazing how Maybe that works. Maybe a universal law. <laughs> We mentioned we're at the Silver Spoon. This is a great place, by the way, to bring mom to earn some, maybe some brownie points in there. And speaking of brownie points, you're gonna love the desserts here. Mm. This is one of my favorites. It's a saucer-sized chocolate chip cookie. Let's just continue talking about the cookies and dessert overall at the Silver Spoon. The cookies are addictive and they are enormous. Guess what these are called? Lemon saucer cookies, because yes, they are literally the size of a saucer. The chocolate chip cookie is next and we describe that as chocolate chip, two different types of nuts, and a little bit of dough holding it all together. Another popular dessert is the cheesecake, and I'll let the owner of the Silver Spoon explain. The cheesecake is three pounds of cream cheese, nine eggs, or eight eggs, pardon me, and uh, a little bit of sugar, um, some vanilla, we use our own shortbread crust. We depart a little bit from the standard graham cracker crust. We use a shortbread crust that we make our, ourselves. Vera is proud of everything at the Silver Spoon and has been since it opened in 2005. You'll find both a large luncheon and dinner menu here. Now one of their top sellers for lunch is the Chipotle Chicken Club. It's made up of slowly cooked Chipotle chicken with a combination of cheeses, buttery avocado, and their very own Chipotle mayo. It's put on a panini press and melted and served with fresh salsa they make every day. Then it's dinner time. In the evening we do the KC strips. We do the ribeyes, uh, tenderloin for the filet. Those just fly out of here. One of the many reasons the Silver Spoon is so popular and successful besides consistently serving exquisite and enjoyable food along with outstanding service is because Vera says they work hard to be in tune with their patrons. We try to listen to what our ladies and gentlemen say and if they express a desire for a certain, certain something, we try to make it happen if we can. And she adds this restaurant is an extension of her home's kitchen. If you come to her house, you'll get lots of hospitality, great service, and wonderful scratch American food that you'll enjoy. As for their customers, Vera says they are absolutely wonderful folks. There's no set demographic and you'll find five-year-olds to 80 plus but it still comes back to the philosophy of the Silver Spoon. Everything that we do, we try to do it in a wholesome way, mindful of what people around here like and don't like. And much of that is, is pretty much scratch cooking. It's just basic American kitchen cooking. The kind of cooking that keeps everyone coming back for more. And if you'd like to give mom a full weekend of pampering and relaxation, well, guess what? Our intrepid road warriors, Shell Wagner and Abby Curran, took on this very difficult story. <laughs> and they have found a place that you absolutely have to punch into your GPS. In fact, it was just uh, some finger taps into our Ford Explorer's fully integrated navigational system. And guess what? Their whole trip was mapped out. You got the great sound system on the way. And when they got there, they were sure to road test this completely so you can give this gift of relaxation with complete confidence. Cindy Lauper said it best, girls just want to have fun. And you follow is the perfect place to catch up with your girlfriends. Shell and I met up with our favorite sassy gal pal, Connie Morris of the Lake Ufala Association. She makes planning a chick trip look easy. Whatever your chick trip entails is right here. You can rent boats, you can go hiking, biking, we can golf. Um, 
there's two state parks. We can go bird watching. Lake Eufaula is the largest lake in Oklahoma. We have 105,000 acres of water to play on. But first things first, Connie suggested we launch this outing over lunch by the lake at the Stuffed Olive. What a cool name. My mother's name was Olive, and so we were trying to think of a name for the restaurant, and we knew it was going to have kind of an Italian flair. And um, so I am actually the stuffed olive because, like most women, I grew into be my mother, except bigger. So I am the stuffed olive. <laughs> we make our own sauces. We have um, a Greek pasta, which is, um, oh, it has artichokes in it and tomatoes and Kalamata olives. and. Then we put chicken on top of that. We have our chicken Alfredo, which we make our own Alfredo sauce. We loved the food and drinks and view at the Stuffed Olive. After a yummy meal, Connie pointed us towards Main Street to get our shop on. Eufaula is basically a tourist community, so we have several specialty shops. First stop, our favorite place. It's home to all things Oklahoma, so naturally we had to check it out. The criteria to have anything in here is it has to be made in Oklahoma. The artwork is amazing, and there's jewelry, made in Oklahoma food products, clothing, everything Oklahoma. You will not want to leave the appropriately named Our Favorite Place. They even have a gourmet coffee bar so you can sustain your shopping stamina. Shell scored on Oklahoma products, gourmet snacks, and even a little garden statue. Connie snagged a new book. Then we wandered over to Libby's, known as the Picasso of ladies' fashion. Abby modeled some fun dresses, and I found myself a new hat. You know I love a hat. We moseyed on next door to steal daffodils. This is the place for the coolest lake you follow souvenirs and cabin decor and just basic cuteness. Thank goodness for our Ford Explorer and its great storage capacity. We loaded it up. But then, of course, it was cupcake time, and Connie knew just the place around the corner. Made with Love Bakery had my senses singing. Colorful cupcakes, fresh baked bread. Mmm, such a happy place. With armloads of baked goods, it seemed like the right time to settle into our B&B. Oh my gosh, Lake Eufaula Bed and Breakfast is adorable. It's right on the water. The view alone will hook you just like it did the owners. I walked through the front door and I saw the beach and I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to have this. There are five elegant suites, each of them with their own personality. The beach suite, which sleeps six, just screams out to host a girlfriend's getaway. I was determined to get the top bunk. <laughs> the late night gab sessions with the girls is exactly what a chick trip is all about. Breakfast was beautiful and delicious. And then it was time for some serious chillaxing. You can go get in a hammock on the beach and just have an afternoon of reading and solitude. When people come here, they just go, oh. they can't believe they're in Eufaula, Oklahoma. Well, I know of a few gals who can believe it. As a matter of fact, we're already planning our next girlfriend adventure here. In Eufaula, I'm Shell Wagner. And I'm Abby Curran. All right, you need to stay right where you are because coming up next. We've got some art for your mom, and it's not that kind you tape to the front of the refrigerator. Spend the day soaking up art and culture when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues right after this. Don't go away. We had some family members that had switched to AAA, and they kept telling us how much money they were saving and found out they could save us money too, and so we ended up switching. We have three kids, and there's not a lot of money left at the end of every month. It ended up saving us quite a bit. Our Car insurance alone saved us probably about $600. Any money you can save during the month and have some left over, um, that's, a, that's a pretty big deal. Having insurance is important. Having affordable insurance that you can trust is a blessing. Plenty of room to swing a rope. Plenty of heart and plenty of home. Alone and talk, and watch your heart. Making crazy circles in the sky. You know, we belong to the land, and the land we belong to is red. And we say, Hallelujah! We're only saying, No, do we find a world?
come see for yourself. Approximately a year and a half ago, my friend Gary Wise, who I go to church with, had uh, become a AAA agency, and he had asked me, he said, let's just check, see what we can do. We tried to compare apples to apples to his current coverage. And uh, my premium went down $800 for the same insurance for this house. I was tickled. I mean, $800 is a lot of money. Go see Gary. Get your AAA insurance. It's, it's head and shoulders above the rest of the companies. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma Honoring Moms on this Mother's Day weekend. And this next destination is guaranteed to impress your mom. Magic Man Jeff Roberts explains, and I think he's right in this, that if you suggest taking your mother to the Oklahoma City Museum of Art, you will convince her that she has done a great job of raising you. And that you can go beyond finger painting. So when was the last time you went to Oklahoma City Museum of Art? Well, if you haven't been here a while, you're missing so much. In fact, I'm going to borrow a line from Wolf Grand Chili and say that's been too long. Let me tell you, today we're going to walk through here and show you all the stuff they have and how much fun you can have and help you when you're standing next to somebody and they go, oh, I can do that. I can paint that. We're going to help you with those answers too. And who better to help us check out the museum than Michael Whittington. He's the president and CEO of the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. Michael, for those who don't know, where's the museum located? We're right at the heart of downtown Oklahoma City. We're located in the Donald W. Reynolds Visual Arts Center. We have three floors of galleries, permanent collection of European art and American art spanning over five centuries, a comprehensive collection of Dale Chihuly glass, one of the region's finest repertory cinemas, we also have a roof terrace, which is absolutely the place to be in Oklahoma City every Thursday night from 5, to 5 until 10 o'clock, and a full-service restaurant uh, serving lunch, Sunday brunch, and dinner. See, now you're ready to come see what you've been missing, aren't you? Jennifer Kloss, the associate curator here at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art, says there's always something new to see take special note of one of our most recent acquisitions, a large cast glass sculpture by Karen Lamont. It is a beautiful woman kneeling in a Japanese kimono, and we're very proud of this work that was actually on view in one of our past special exhibitions. She's a talented artist based in the Czech Republic, and we are very proud to have that on view on the second floor. So one of the most popular exhibits here at the museum is the Chihuly Glass Exhibit. Honestly, the only way to truly experience the Chihuly Glass exhibit is just like this. And you can do this here at the museum. And something fun for the kids, and yeah, even the big kids like me, in the Persian ceiling, see how many cherubs you can find. Because it's Discover Oklahoma, we get to show you this cool thing. So why did we just show you this guy opening the door? The largest freight elevator right here at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. Is that not cool? So the next time you're standing in front of an oil painting from say Bud Hopkins like this and somebody says, oh, I so could have painted that. Well, you can tell them, yeah, they can if they attend any of the education classes that happen year round here at Oklahoma City Museum of Art. At the Oklahoma City Museum of Art, I'm Jeff Roberts. Excuse me while the shows are on. You want me I'm to back finish to up while you're having your do, cookies? Please do, because this cookie is too good. Or I'll just take it from here. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, because up next we have a sweet-smelling destination. Take Mom on a fragrant field trip that'll make up for all those times she had to clean out your gym bag when AAA's Discover Oklahoma returns in two short minutes. We had some family members that had switched to AAA, and they kept telling us how much money they were saving and kept telling us that we should look into it. And so we decided that we should go see what, what we could do. We have three kids and there's not a lot of money left at the end of every month and so any penny that you can save is a big deal. AAA was something I always heard of when I was growing up and when people talked about it, they talked about it in a reliable way. And so when we switched to AAA, um, it was something that we just trusted from the beginning. It ended up saving us quite a bit. Our car insurance alone saved us probably about $600 a year. Our life insurance, we were actually able to double our coverage and our premium still went down um, close to about half as well. Again, it's not something you ever want to think about as you grow up and become a grown-up with a family, but it's definitely something that you need to have. Having insurance is important. Having affordable insurance that you can trust is a blessing. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, checking out mom-friendly destinations this week. And our next stop is a place that is both pretty and, as Shel Wagner puts it, perfumey. Perfumey. Two things that we moms just love. <laughs> Works for me. Well, this place actually is all that and a lot more. And I did find out on the tour that this little purple flower has all these amazing 
surprising powers, the Lavender Valley Acres is this week's agritourism adventure. Jag Sothai used to be a professor with the Department of Defense teaching, among other things, how to test weapon systems, a rather explosive subject matter. These days, well, let's just say what he likes to talk about is considerably more laid back and calming. You see, he's surrounded by lavender plants at his place, called appropriately enough, Lavender Valley Acres. It smells good. Hey. Now, my videographer Tommy Evans and I were here right before everything was in full bloom, but that enticing and wonderful aroma was already in the air. And that's one of the many reasons people come here. Basically, the people call us to check, are we really talking lavender or some other plants? Okay, one, that's number one, they come curiosity. They come here to check the lavender, and then they come to know that we have 10 different variety of lavender they don't believe that also. They think no, the lavender is one color. No, when they come here, they check everything, yes. And yes, they can learn that lavender can come in pink, blue, and even white. Needless to say, just walking around Lavender Valley Acres is fun and relaxing. There's a garden area where one can take a leisurely aromatic stroll where all the senses are fully engaged. And everyone is interested in the medicinal purposes of lavender. Lavender plants, Number one, to relax you. And we need to relax everybody. That's what when the people come, I give a little drop of the oil, so they can smell and relax. I carry in my pocket all the time, I smell, and it cleared my sinus, cleared my sore throat. And people committed, this. it really worked with them also. And then, of course, I put in my shampoo, put in my uh, lotion, which we have, and I put on my body, and mosquito bugs don't come near me. That's right, humans love the smell of lavender, but apparently bugs, mosquitoes, and most animals do not. One animal who holds its own here is the peacock. There are several of them on hand, and Jack keeps them on the property because they are the native bird of his homeland, India. They add to the majestic nature of the farm and its tranquil beauty. Finally, there's a shop on the premises where you can visit and find numerous byproducts of lavender created by Jag's son and daughter, both of whom have degrees in biology and chemistry. You can find lotions, oils, soaps, candles, and sprays. Much of Jag's and his wife's efforts are paying off. Lavender Valley Acres has won some awards in recent years, and now they're gearing up for their big festival that takes place on June the 8th, where people can come out, enjoy live entertainment, belly dancing, food, and of course, take in that aroma of lavender. People come here to learn how to grow lavender. People also come here to learn how to make byproduct. I mean, it's the economy development. Little, little effort helps a lot. I, I read a long time ago, Joe Dorman did, made a study uh, while I was traveling with the government. And I read on the internet that he made a study that even the small festival bring a lot of economy enhancement in the small area. Economic enhancement and a lot of relaxed, happy people. In Apache, I'm Dean O'Lally. For information on booking a tour or to see a schedule of upcoming special events at the farm, you'll want to visit the Lavender Valley Acres website. We'll link you to it from the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. With plenty of deep-rooted destinations around our state, agritourism is Oklahoma's growing adventure. We're not finished yet, so don't go away. We're still working on that cookie. <laughs> and we're going to meet an iconic Oklahoma mother. This lady's a tough act to follow, a pioneering symbol of grit and determination. And we'll catch up with her when AAA's Discover Oklahoma returns right after this. In early April of this year, we had one of the most violent hailstorms I've ever seen in my life. And my wife called me and you could hear the noise over the telephone. By the time I got home, got out here from town, there was hail everywhere, baseball, size hail, golf ball, everywhere. Uh, my truck was beat to pieces. It was, it was a pretty violent hailstorm. I called my AAA agent, Gary Wise, a friend of mine, asked him what the procedure was, give me the phone numbers, we need to turn this in. We hope to always be there whenever they need us, and that, that is the most important client that we have, is the one that we're talking to at the time. I feel AAA has treated me with the utmost respect. I feel like they were went above and beyond to be respectful of our, our time and our property. AAA definitely is there for the right reason. The president of the 
insurance company call and ask, you know, what could what could they do to help Woodward and help our clients in their time of need. Motor Trend asked SUV drivers to take the EcoBoost challenge. They drove Ford Explorer versus Dodge Durango. The Explorer has more power than the Durango. 28 miles a gallon? That's unbelievable. I think I look like a hot mama in this Explorer. I felt old school in that. I want to feel sleek and new. You know, I hate to be slamming this Dodge, but the Explorer is leaps and bounds better. Get a Ford Explorer with 0% financing for 60 months or drive one for $279 a month. Now it's your Oklahoma Ford dealer. Welcome back. AAA makes this show possible and does a lot of other great things around our state. Here's a look at today's AAA. Hi, Christy Gettle here with AAA Oklahoma. Whether you're looking to hula in Hawaii, cruise the Caribbean, or take a bite out of the Big Apple, look no further than AAA Vacations. With a wide array of cruise and tour packages, our experienced travel agents will help you plan your trip down to the very last detail. You just have to pack. Plus, being a member has its perks. You're guaranteed the lowest fare, 24-7 member care protects you in case of an emergency, and you get exclusive amenities like onboard ship credits, complimentary shore excursions, private sightseeing guides, and priority venue entrance. If your schedule's flexible, watch our website for last minute deals so you can travel more for a whole lot less. Exceptional service, exclusive experiences, and exciting rewards. AAA Vacations give you the best vacation available anywhere you want to go. To learn more, visit AAA.com. AAA, for the ones who matter most to you. We're honoring Mother's Day, and our next destination is dedicated to telling the story of all the women who raised families on the Oklahoma prairies. It always makes me feel like a wimp when I'm whining about doing the laundry or something, and then I think about those women who raised their families in dugouts. In dugouts. They just birthed the babies and kept plowing the fields. <laughs> Never even stopped. <laughs> but you can get a glimpse into the lives of those women at the Pioneer Woman Museum in Ponca City. You can see that strong stock from which we come, and I think that's why it should be on every Oklahoma mom's bucket list. Ponca City's Pioneer Woman Museum opened in 1958. Its most distinctive feature, of course, is the statue out front, sculptor Bryant Baker's Pioneer Woman. But that's only the introduction to this marvelous tribute to Oklahoma's female pioneers. For the museum's mission is to honor the strong women who have helped build our state. I think it was um, the spirit of adventure brought the women out here, and they didn't come out here um, to, to have a Victorian bonnet, but they came out here for a purpose and, and to survive um, a very harsh environment that was, it was, you didn't go to Macy's or, or Sears down the road. They did not have the big cities behind them. They had an open pioneering expanse and a prairie, and it's, it's different here. <laughs> so that's why you see the everyday here right beside the extraordinary. You can see a weaving demonstration on a real antique loom. It's more than a hundred years old. You can buy rugs made on this loom at the museum. It's only one of the tools that shaped the pioneer woman's life on display for us to see now. It was that life that made Oklahoma women so strong. Women like educator, author Angie DeBow, who chronicled the lives of Native Americans so beautifully, or civil rights activist Clara Looper, newspaper woman and first lady Elva Chartel Ferguson, or Ponca City's own Jerry Cobb, a pilot and the first female astronaut trainee. Jerry Cobb as a pilot in Ponca City alone is, is very interesting because Ponca City has such a rich aviation history, but just the fact that she went on to um, become a, a transatlantic pilot or a, a pilot around the country, transnational, that's, that's amazing. She's a very strong woman. They're, Ponca City has a, an amazing history and Oklahoma has an amazing history of pioneering women in many fields. They're just very strong women. Besides its permanent collection, the Pioneer Woman Museum hosts several traveling exhibits each year that feature women in special ways. So if you've seen it once, you'll see something different when you come back. And the museum will keep on evolving because, as director Rebecca Brave reminds us, women have not stopped contributing. I mean, that spirit is not gone today. It's here. It's, it's very much alive, and it, it allows um, the growth that, that Oklahoma is nicely doing right now. It's a great time to see the museum and marvel at the accomplishments of Oklahoma's finest. Well, we're out of time, and you've got a lot of cookie left. I'm pacing myself. Really? It's just Saturday, so. <laughs> <laughs> I may, may be working on this cookie for a couple of shows. We hope you've enjoyed helping us celebrate moms this week. Well, say happy Mother's Day to everyone, yourself included, Thank of you. course, and to all the folks in Lawton and here at the Silver Spoon. 
Thank you very much for hosting us. And thanks to you for watching. Next week, we're all over the map, from a picture-perfect pecan orchard in Idabel to Geronimo's grave at Fort Sill, and then over to Claremore for some hardcore hand fishing. Hope you'll join us. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. You better hurry, because I may just take a slurp here. <laughs> Our production vehicle provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department.